Hey guys and dolls, your favorite little keto goofball diamond back again. Day 689 of my ketogenic journey. Going from your former favorite little fat girl down to your keto cutie. Just in gen general, generic, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday that was perfectly keto friendly. Uh, I did try to maintain the Baconator diet. I ate Baconators for my figure. <laughs> Not exactly. Anyway, check out what I ate yesterday, and then I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. Um, I almost had a heart attack this morning. I'll tell y'all about that too. But if you love my videos, don't forget to thumbs up. If you find merit in them, if you find them interesting, entertaining, well, thumbs up too. But tap that subscribe button and ring that bell so I can tell you when I'm here every day. Anyway, check this out right here. Baconator, homemade baconator, two pieces of beef, uh, American cheese, a little bit of mayonnaise, three slices of bacon, and we're going to let it cool off and then eat it like that. <laughs> it is 3 p.m., so that's when I'm breaking my fast with my baconator. It's beautiful. Today it's 8 p.m., and it's a homemade baconator with two beef patties, 100% beef, with American cheese, two slices of bacon, and about a half a spoon of mayonnaise. Well, you guys almost made it. I was going to quit at the two Baconators, but it's gotten really late on me. Destiny's feeling better. It's the first time in days she's been able to eat. She up and decided she wanted peanut butter milk really bad. So in the middle of the night, she's decided she went to Walmart. It's storming, so I feel bad. I can't go to bed. Ain't no way. I, I would feel terrible about that. So I am going to just stay up until she gets home, but I'm kind of trying to ignore hunger pains. I was failing. Uh, so I've got about 130 pounds of chicken breast here, real grilled chicken breast, uh, with about 30 grams of, did I say pounds, 130 grams of chicken breast, and um, 30 grams of ranch, kind of all pushed around the chicken. You guys, so shockingly, my calories for yesterday were 2,141, 4 grams of carbohydrates, 177 grams of fat, and 129 grams of protein. Weight still went down though. So I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. I'm glad you're here with me. Uh, 2,424 subs right now. That is so awesome. Woohoo! And uh, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's been here the long haul and everybody who's brand new. Uh, much love to all y'all. Yes. <laughs> so I was reading this. It's, what's in store for you in 2019? Libra's going to be cheated on. Aries, broken leg. Taurus, pregnant. Gemini, new house. I wish I was a Gemini. Uh, cancer, force. cancer, a puppy, Leo, broken arm, Virgo, pregnant, Scorpio, broke, and I am a Scorpio, so that makes sense for me. Unfortunately for all Sagittariuses, apparently y'all are going to up and die this year. I hope not. Capricorns are going to get a kitten, Aquarius is going to get pregnant, and Pisces are going to, unfortunately, have a car crash. Hey, let's hope this is not true. So guys, I stopped to check the post office today. It is some more hot in North Carolina. This is probably one of the hottest days I've felt in a long time. And there's a breeze. It's just blowing around hot air. It don't feel good. It's one of those days you get in the shade, it ain't no cooler. And you walk into a building with AC, it's like somebody done threw ice water on you and you don't want to go up at that. You don't want to leave. So coming out of the post office was kind of a pain in the butt. I didn't want to. Let's get this sucker home. It's one of those days, y'all, when you open your car doors, your windows have been up, and you expect that wall of heat to hit you. It ain't no hotter in your car than it is outside. Good morning. <laughs> Did you miss me while you were gone, at least? <laughs> Can you tell them to hit like and subscribe? Nope, not today, huh? Not today, Hit like and subscribe. Oh, he did it. <laughs> can you do it for me? Do it. Do what you can do now. Come on, do it. Hey, Anthony. There you go. He's learned how to move his lips in a funny way. And he does it repeatedly. Yeah, like that. Good job. Oh, I love you. Hi, I love you too. Hi. 
<laughs> hey you guys so I'm gonna show you a photo from yesterday and from one of my, be my beginning photos um, oh, my before photo and my current photo I love them I love them I absolutely love and adore them oh my god I'm also gonna show you my way in and my sleep real fast and then we'll get to the whole chit chat thing and I'll tell you all about my way in and what damn near gave me a heart attack this morning check it out y'all days like this when you just look in the camera and be like damn I look good today and I'm conceited so I'm gonna go ahead and get to the way in so I can let y'all know how I damn near had a heart attack this morning so I climbed up back to bed this morning stepped on that scale some bitch said 220 pounds your girl about fell the hell out no, that ain't right. So I got off and I waited a second and I got back on. 221 pounds. Oh, no. Mm -mm. That's how you give a fat girl a heart attack. So I got back off of it and I said, well, we just going to reset the scale. And I picked up the cat and I got on it and it said 160 pounds. How the hell does that even happen? <laughs> now, I liked it, but... um I knew it was a damn lot. So I got back off of it. So, all right, something's wrong. So I took the batteries out, changed the batteries out, put them back in, sit it down. 185.2. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, but that is 0 0.8 pounds down. No, 0 0.6 pounds from yesterday. Yesterday was 185.8. Today, 185.2. 0 0.6 pounds down. Oh, my goodness, y'all. My hair is tickling me. It's driving me crazy. Um, yeah, that, that, I nearly fell out and died. I sure did. So, yesterday I had almost a perfect Baconator day. That had been my plan. Well, I mean, after I had the first Baconator, the plan was just to have a second Baconator and be done with it for the day. The thing is, I ate dinner a little bit too early. I wasn't even all that hungry, and by the time I finished my second Baconator, I was going to explode. So, when it come really late in the evening... I was like, I started to feel like hunger pangs or like growly and peckish and everything on the internet looked god awful wonderful. And they showed these bastards, they're starting to put that white cream inside the regular glazed donuts. So I didn't do any of that, trust me, but everything I was seeing was looking good. And then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm just going to go to bed. Zach fell asleep on time. So I'm just going to go to sleep, you know? And I was going to, and Destiny got up, and she was hungry for the first time in a while. She's uh, had thro uh, strep throat, so she hasn't been hungry. She's been nauseous and not feeling good. And, like, all of a sudden, she's up, and she's like, I'm starving to death. She's right in the refrigerator. She's looking for peanut butter and jelly and bread and milk. We only had, like, this much milk in the bottom of the jug. So she she's craving, I guess. She's That's what she wants. She needs it. She needs it now. And uh, so she makes her one peanut butter sandwich and drinks a little bit of milk with it. And she's just like going crazy. It's storming. It's raining like crazy. My roof is leaking. I'm annoyed. Um, but she decides to up and go to Walmart in the middle of the night. I need to give them a house key because I couldn't go to sleep and leave the door unlocked with my grandbaby laying in the living room. Couldn't do that. Ain't gonna do that. So I decided I'll just stay awake till she gets home. Maybe she won't be gone too long. Um... Hey, I didn't go to Walmart. She went over to her daddy's house, got some milk and, and uh, peanut butter there, and sit down and watch the movie with him. Not that I mind that. It's just that I was waiting for y'all ass to get home, hurry her up. I won't go to bed. Well, while she's gone, I'm starving. Don't worry, grandbaby's in there uh, with his mama and everybody. So they're probably making a bottle or something. But uh, I hear him crying. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's saying, hold on, hold on. She must be making my bottle. So... Now something fell. Sound like a fan. Air conditioner being flipped on. That's what that was. Okay, so. Noise. It's distracting. So anyway, she gets home, but not in time. My tummy has done took over, and I decided if I don't eat, I'm going to puke. So I ate some chicken and ranch, which wasn't really that good, but I wasn't hungry after that, which totally screwed with my macros. I think I would have went down more had, you know, not had the chicken in the middle of the night, right, like an hour before bed. Because, you know, going to bed on und undigested food, by the next morning, usually your weight doesn't go down too much. 
And that also screwed me up for today because I ate so late last night. I came out of my normal fasting window, which means right now it's only noon and I'm about to starve. And I'm, I'm thinking it's time to go ahead and cook a Baconator. <laughs> And oh, okay, so for any of you who are new to me, you don't understand. Um, every time I just kind of eat baconators with no bun, just meat, cheese, uh, bacon, and mayonnaise, my weight goes down. If I try to eat any damn thing else, my weight tends to fluctuate up. Almost anything else. There are some other stuff like eggs and stuff that I can eat, but I like baconators. It seems to work, and it's it's. <laughs> and even at Wendy's, when I get them there, it works. It works great. So, I'm on a Baconator diet pretty much at the moment um, because I think it'll work for me and we're going to try it and we're going to see how well it works. If my scale stops being mentally ill, uh, uh, I need a new scale so bad that thing. Uh, it's eating batteries like you wouldn't believe twice a week at least. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass. I even tried buying the door sale and the really expensive batteries. Ate them at the same rate so it doesn't really matter what I do. I don't think it's really just the animals laying on it because the cat's not very he heavy. She doesn't seem to trigger it. She's the one that likes to lay on it. Once in a while, Jacob put his big ass head on there. For those of you who don't know, I got a 120 pound lab. For some reason, they all like the scale. But I don't think it's really that. And then with the numbers going crazy this morning, usually it just reads low battery. And uh, I nearly had to, I need a new scale. That's, that's just it, I need a new scale. That one's lost its damn mind on me, so I'll check Amazon. and I'll even put them on my wish list. If anybody wants to get one for me, you're more than welcome to, because it's going to be a while before I can get it. But I put it on the wish list, so it's twofold. If somebody wants to get it for me, you're more than welcome to. If nobody does, then I get the money, I'll buy it for myself. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of crazy, but it's the truth. <laughs> oh. Sometimes everything breaks just all at once. Destiny got in my truck while ago. She, because last night when she went to get the milk and stuff, she took Brian's card and forgot to put it back. So Brian's stuck at the gas station. So she had to take my blazer. She comes home raising hell that the stirring's bad and, and, and she almost wrecked it. I'm like, girl, every vehicle you're ever going to drive is a little bit different. That one's play. It's got a little more play in the steering wheel than other vehicles, but it ain't dangerous if you know what you're doing. So, yeah, she was completely flipped out about it. I was like, y you live, you know, you didn't hit nothing. You just have to be careful in different vehicles. Anytime you drive, even 15 different vehicles, all 15 of those vehicles are going to drive differently. They just are. Why am I on that subject? I'm so sorry, guys. I got lost in a tangent. I'm just running off at the mouth. But, so, I did want to tell y'all something. I actually meant to read it to you, but I didn't get there. You know, we, we all talk about how wonderful and good keto is. Well, there's one healing thing, a healing aspect of it, that I think a lot of people sidestep or overlook. But keto is great for cancer because a lot of the cancer out there is sugar reactive. If they test your to see if you have cancer with sugar and it grows, that cancer can be completely cured by not eating any kind of sugar or carbohydrate because that type of cancer cannot grow using fat and protein. If you remove sugar from its from, from your body, that cancer dies, literally, and they know that. And I just re read research on it last night, which is actually what I meant to read to you, but I'll give you the gist of it. Lung cancer. 25 to 30 percent of lung cancer is sugar reactive and can be completely reversed by going keto. Or I would go lower carb than we do standard on keto. I mean, if you have cancer or something and you're really trying to get rid of that completely, you're going to want to get as much carb. I would go zero carb for a while at least until you start getting some real good readings, you know, no cancer. But it is great for cancer. It's great for something else too. You know, we, we talk about mental focus, mental clarity, and all that stuff, and it helps with that. It truly does. This morning, though, when I woke up, I felt smart, y'all. I had a lot of energy. I was bouncing around the house. I've, I've swept the floors. I've, I've washed down everything. The countertops have been Lysoled. I mean, I felt great, and, and I could pay more attention to things and details. I'm sitting here going, now I need to, I need to clean my walls. They're a little dusty, and I probably will clean the walls of the house today <laughs> because it popped in my head to do, even though it's not really very effective. This, this house is gross. It doesn't matter, um, but anyway, yeah. Keto has so many wonderful healing properties to it. And I guarantee you, if you send me an email, if you've got a problem with your body that you can't figure out, I will help you try to solve it. The only one that I haven't been able to figure out yet is my blood pressure because it just seems to be stubborn. Which, while I say I haven't figured it out yet, 
blood pressure is usually three things. It's not genetic, okay? Um, it's usually environmental, chemical, or stress. So it's something in your environment, including your foods. Chemical, which also could include foods, but things you're getting into, medications can cause it. So, and then of course stress, sleep factors, and stuff like that. So this is what's causing it. The fact that I don't get very much sleep, even though I do try to get sleep. I think I showed you earlier that, you know, I don't get much sleep. So that's most likely where my blood pressure issues come from. And even before keto, I had all kinds of sleep diseases. Now I don't have sleep diseases. I just don't sleep that long. Um, I don't have sleep apnea. I don't have exploding head syndrome. I don't sleep walk anymore. I don't sleep eat anymore, which is wild in and of itself. Um, I don't have uh, restless leg syndrome anymore. Everything I used to have that I was diagnosed with is gone, except sorry, sorry. <laughs> except for technically my high blood pressure. But it's life, right? It's just one of those things that sometimes you have to deal with. And that's it. <laughs> anyway, guys and dolls, if you need my help, my email and everything are in the description below. Ways to support the channel, which are greatly appreciated and loved, are down there in the description. You can also get a Keto Keto Kitty t-shirt or Keto Goofball t-shirt. And you can visit KetoDiamond.com where there's all kinds of goodies there. And uh, a complete beginner's guide, a free foods list, everything on there is free. Go check it out. Much love to y'all. i see you tomorrow.